Welcome, in front of me I have Sunto Race S and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Keep holding the button until you see the Sunto logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch da is done booting up. And once the watch boots up, you will need to download and install the Sunto application on the iPhone you want to your pair your watch with. So, uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Once you do, uh, open the App Store on your iPhone, so to find the icon and tap on it. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Sunto. So, S-U-U-T, no, N-T-O. Sunto. Tap on search. And on the list of applications, you should, you should see this application, Sunto, with this icon. You can tap on it to select it, then tap on the get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Once the application opens, you probably will see this pop up on the screen about the Bluetooth devices. Tap on allow. And next we need to log in into a Sunto account. And you have options to use the Facebook account, Apple account, or continue with email. I have the account associated with the email address, so I'm gonna use the email option, but you can pick whatever you like. Now I need to enter my email address. And if my email address is uh, associated with account or I have an account registered on this email address, it will basically let me log in. If there was no account on my email address, it would let me to create a new account. Okay, now I need to enter the password. And then we can tap on login. Uh, apparently I entered the password wrong. Give me a second. And indeed I did. Okay. Here we can um, save the password to iCloud, I don't want to. And now we have this message, welcome back. We can tap on continue, allow or deny the permission for the location. This is useful for the features like local weather, tracking the location on the map while you're running, cycling and stuff like that. If you want to allow the permission, tap on continue and allow it, you can also deny it. Next, we have the notification permission. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can keep it denied. If you want to use it, tap on uh, allow. And now the app should start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch uh, automatically. If it doesn't detect your watch, try to wake up the screen on it. And as you can see, after that, it got detected and now we can tap on pair. Okay, apparently it's added to the Bluetooth settings. Let's check. Bluetooth. Oh, it is here, so let's remove it. It looks like it was paired to this phone before. So, we can remove it. Tap on restart pairing. Detected our watch, tap on pair. Now we need to enter the code from the watch. and tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. And here we have a tutorial on a watch and you can go through it by tapping on start, then swiping and left. We can also enable or disable some features like a sleep tracking, um, a 24 seven, uh, Wrist heart rate, so basically it will monitor your heart rate whole day, 24 seven hours. Um, next we can connect our watch to the Wi-Fi network. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to connect your network, uh, your watch to a network, tap on setup network. It will start searching for the nearby networks. You can tap on the one you like. Um, apparently I can't. Let's see. Oh, because it's disabled, we need to enable it. Um, 
but I can't because the watch is still sinking apparently so oh now we can it is enabled but we can't tap on a network I think it's because the watch is still sinking for some reason so let's leave it at that you can do it later in settings uh, also so you can skip this if your uh, watch is connected to Wi-Fi network you can download offline maps if you want to and then you won't need to have a internet connection to use the maps on your watch we can also customize the widgets on our watch and by tapping on select widgets if the watch wasn't syncing still we could be able we would be able to customize this but uh, oh okay it's done syncing and let's skip this step which is unfortunate but basically you can uh, customize how the widget menu looks on your watch and widget menu is basically if you swipe up on the watch you have different widgets right here okay and uh, once you're done with the initial setup you should see this page and on it you should see your Sunto Race S watch right, right now it says it's busy but if we if we go back to the home screen it should say that it's synced now and basically you can see how the battery level and last time synced and that means that the devices are paired together and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.